And welcome back everybody to another Emma Sun Productions. We're back here in Emma. Wait, I just said that. Um, today we're back with another Trials in the Sky. Last time oh, we went Yes. Alex <laughs> Alex is still here. Last time we went fishing. This time we're I think we're about to go to bed. What does the book tell me to do? Uh why Burglary type two, it's son of a bitch, stop pressing shit. Uh there, it's early enough. It's still early though, which means free time. What does this mean? What, what do I need to go do? Let me talk to Skizzard. Oh. The book wants you to press your own prostate, Charlie. Yeah, um, I ran into more issues. I walked in and found my other two companions drinking. Oliver is absolutely shit faced, and the other one is holding her alcohol like a fucking champ. Good. They are going to be useless in this battle tonight. Great. I've Good. got. To, I've got to do um. It's, it's probably only a two-man fight because the there's only two robbers from what I've picked up so far. Good. <sighs> Skizzard would be fine. Oliver. I really need Oliver to be awake. Damn it! Why do you have to go get drunk? Because you're you're about to get in a fight. Charlie, don't you know what people used to do? Hmm, this guy already went and blew into a fisherman's ear. He's already blowing people. So, Charlie. I really don't want him drunk. Last time he was drunk around um, Estelle, he flirted with her, and I'm pretty sure he tried to get in bed with her. And now we all have a one room with each other, because we've got to wait until midnight for the thieves to show Charlie, up. what yes. kind of whorish, retarded game are you playing? It's a, just a full-on RPG. This guy's just a pervert. You know, when you say just a foreign RPG, that makes me feel... Not that you're foreign. Actually... Not foreign. Full-on. Not foreign. Full-on. It's not a J... I mean, a lot of people would call this a JRPG, but I don't even think it's a JRPG. It's a lot more complicated than a JRPG. Pokemon's a JRPG. This is not. Yeah. This is closer to Final Fantasy. You know, the more you speak, the more ashamed I grow to be to know you. It's actually a really good game. It it's it's actually really a cancer. No. That has latched upon your left testicle and is devouring your sperm count. By the minute. Good. No more count, no more condoms. No more count, no more testicle. Still good. Fine with me. Why not? Damn, I said that within the first three minutes of the fucking video. It's only yes, been three did. minutes and I've already said this you shit. You did it, you are fine with being castrated. The, the, the process has already begun, Charlie. <laughs> within a month, you will have become... I'm sorry, I completely fucking forgot his name. Huh? I forgot his name. Who? You know him. Well, that doesn't help. I know a lot of people. You will become Blake. Oh, God, no. Yes. No, I'm good. No, it's too late. It's too late, Charlie's art. Nothing you can do about it now. You've, you've, you've started it. You admitted that you are fine with your testicles being gone. And and I will be communicating this fact to Cassie. This this will not go well for you. Okay, so we got Alamosaurus, Ankylodocus. Let's do the Ankylosaur, yeah.
Okay, so we have Alamos, uh, Alamosaurus, Ankyloticus, Ankylosaur. Um, we're probably going to want to have a Ceratopsian of some kind. I'm thinking we don't want to go with just a regular trike. We want to go for some Nazuto Ceratops. Okay, um, <laughs> oh, now Oliver is, uh, is begging not for, um, because you're too poor, another glass of wine. He said, I'm begging you and the fish, don't pour me another glass. And she poured a glass. Oh, great. He's going to be absolutely useless at midnight. Okay, and then we can do a micro... Uh, and we can do micro serratus. That's always a fun one. Ooh, we'll do one micro serratus 22A and the other 22B. Of course, we're going to have to make them very tolerant. Actually, no, no, no. Let's just do random. Because it's going to generate three to seven of them. Let's see what we got. We got Yukon River, Polcharana. Amazon Rainforest, Chal Corona, Champlain Valley, Rana, um, Mangrove Forest, Lithobates, Yambia River Basin, Paleophylax, Death Valley, Chal Corona, and Microceratus 22A. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well. So we need to start making the rest of that exhibit so that uh, we'll have a place to put those animals. So Okay, um start out by looking and seeing what the Ankyloticus and Alamosaur need. They need tall fruit, tall leaf and water. And they need tall nuts. Okay. So. Hmm. Oh, actually, no, this is perfect for them here. Uh, the ginkgo tree, tall fruit and tall leaf. Yeah. Tall fruit, tall leaf, forest, nut, and water. Yeah. Okay, and then... Okay, um, Almasaur needs tall nut, forest, and open space, so we'll give him some forest and some tall nut. So what you do, Charlie? Getting your ass whooped? Not yet. I'm sorry, did you just say not yet? <laughs> yes, I did. 
I don't know what I'm gonna run into. They might have grenades. They may have fucking machine guns. They may just have knives. They may have a fucking bazooka powered by the light of the fucking sun. I don't know what these sky bandits will have. Or even if these people are sky bandits. I just think they will need. He's injured in a sprain, huh? <sighs> when will these animals learn that they have... Oh, no. What? Did they die? No. What? The game crashed. That's why the screen went black. I'm like, it's still counting. Yes. Damn it. Let's wait for the game to boot back up and hope it didn't set us too far back. Probably did. <sighs> At least an hour. No. Not that far. It auto set. At least three hours. Hey, look, a load up screen. Uh, your game must not be in full screen. What are you talking about? There's a white bar at the top. Yeah, it's not in full screen. Okay. To be able to switch. Is it always like that? Am I just stupid? Have I never noticed it? Yes, you are. Oh, wow. <gasps> uh, I can't believe I've never noticed it. Uh, so, we're leaving Oliver Skizzard is there. My... People are all healed up. Everyone's fully equipped it. Everyone has max mana. I can't do shit about CP because CP is something you have to keep from battle. Question is, do I run into... Where do I run into these people at? Down here at the water? No. At the back docks? No one's back here. The little dinghies are not missing. Hey, Charlie. Yeah? Did you ever play a game called Lock, Locks Quest? Yeah, I fucking loved it. I got it on DS. Hey, Charlie. What? I got it for free on PS5. How the hell is it on PS5? I have no idea, but I've played it. <laughs> it's great. Like, amazing yeah. game. I love it. It's difficult. It is difficult. I used Action Replay on the... Oh, as a kid, I did use the Action Replay, but I have beat it twice without it. And that's because I actually corrupted my save using the action replay after I beat the game. This, this... Mm. How? Uh. Now, uh, if you uh, if you use the action replay to give you um, infinite source in that game, it will just corrupt your save. Yeah. Like, it knows you've cheated somehow. Well, of course it does. Like, because whenever I did it, it only gave me maximum. It didn't continuously fill it. I had to um, press the button to just give me maximum, so normally the way a game would detect is if you go to either a negative integer or an overflow integer. But I never did that, I just went to max integer. Which is possible legitly in game. Yeah. So. Yeah, but anyway, um... Can, can I leave now? Now, what was that other game you were playing on the bus? Played Zelda. Hold on, we should be looking for a place where we can... It was can... one where you, would, where you would go around to find these vortexes in this open Spectro. desert area. Spectro. Spectro. Yeah. I um, also have... I got the second game still... I lost my first one. I don't know where it is anymore. Is there a higher up? There's not a higher up. Where can I go? I could monitor. The hell does it want me to do? Not that button. Uh, on the path oh, okay. we need to look so out. 
It's not that bad. We just selected the Ankylodocus and Alamosaurus. Hey, yeah. it's the bandits. Yeah, okay, so let me... Let me redo this. It's not going to be the same as before, but that's okay. Okay, so they want tall fruit. And tall leaf. Yeah. Um, they want forest. I, I, I knew Joslet seemed um, suspicious. When I first what, met the, the fact that she sounds like a combination of the word Jaws and Jizz didn't do that for you. No, there's so there's two characters in the games. One is 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 here Joslet or Jawsnet. I'm not looking at the spelling. And the one and the other character is named Kyle, and they're both. I don't know if they're bandits, but they're breaking into homes and in the city of Bose right now. Um, and I'm about to confront them. Is Josette? Sorry, J O S E T T E. Josette. And um, I think I'm sorry. Did you just say J O? J O S E T T E. Charlie. Yeah. That's Josette. Well, Josette, Josette, Jizz Bucket. Uh. Well, one of them sounds incredibly unnatural, and the other one is a well-known name. All right, so Josette. Yeah, Josette. Yeah. I, don't know. I knew. I actually knew a kid, a girl named um, jo Josette. So, or Joslyn, I think was actually her name. Yeah. Well, my mother's entire generation knew someone by the name of Josette. And that's fine. So Josette, I, I didn't like the character to start with because she was weird. Well, not weird. She just felt off. Now I know why. I think she might be part of the Sky Bandits. If she is, I'm about to go kill her. Just because. And I, and I think Charlie's purple. I'm gonna have to re-separate out the dinosaurs. I can already tell. Because I'm getting tired of having to deal with their health issues every five seconds. So I think I'm just going to. Oh, both of the Indominuses are actually in the Spinosaur exhibit now. They're not supposed to be there, are they? Well, I hope they would stay in their own exhibit, but unfortunately, we're not that lucky. No, of course you wouldn't be. Okay. And then we'll separate the Spinosaurs from the Spinoraptors. It's not hard to do. We only have to move two Spinosaurs far enough away from the Spinoraptors. Damn, Kyle ju just insulted Josette, saying, you're just a girl in the end, you're never going to be cut out for the bad guys. What the crap? No, I, no, I might not kill her. I might kill him and just make her become good. Make her be a bracer in training. Come on, move, Spinosaurus. You're in the damn way of the fence. Oh, my leg yeah, is cramped. Yeah. Just lie down in the middle of the fucking fence, Spinosaur. Just lie down. Four Listen. animals are injured, but no. As long as you get to take a fucking nap. 
I mean, could have laid down in the lake. Can you put a volcano or lava uh, um, in the no. game? Oh, that would be cool. Have like a lava run somewhere. It refuses to walk anywhere else. There. The exhibit's divided. Now all I got to do is put the Spinosaurs on one side of the fence and the Spinoraptors on the other. <laughs> Ow. I sneezed. That hurt. So Alex, what kind of special lighting do you have in your room to um illuminate the mood for you? I don't. While you stream. You don't? No, I don't. Oh, I got a lava lamp. Charlie, lava lamps have been dangerous and stupid for longer than I've been alive. And I own a lava lamp. They still make them now. Yeah. And they're, and they're still dangerous and stupid. I've had this lava lamp since I was literally like five. Maybe younger. And Charlie. Yeah. Charlie, you're literally proving my point for me. Dangerous Why? and stupid has not changed. I mean, how's it? I can understand dangerous on the older ones where they actually got hot. New ones don't get hot. I'll remember that the next time you're asleep. I don't, I, I don't have a new one. A of, I don't have a new I have an old one. And I will, I swear to fuck, I will get a, a, a pair of oven mitts. I will come up and pick it up by the end. Mm -hmm. I will carry it ever so quietly into your room or wherever you're sleeping uh -huh. and we will apply it to your nutsack while you are asleep and see what happens i literally just grabbed it and it's been on since eight o'clock maybe earlier i just just held on to it it won't burn me alex or at least not enough. It will burn me, but not enough for me to care. You useless millennials. You, you can't even get injured, right? <laughs> no, Jacobs doesn't get hot at all. Like, <laughs> you could walk around. He's got, he's got a new one. Like, a newer one than mine. Mine is actually from the 90s. Because it's the one I, I had as a, as a kid. Because it was my nightlight. I didn't have a nightlight like other kids. That was my nightlight. Was this lava lamp. And um, Jacob couldn't find a bulb for his, so I gave him one of mine. My bulb is nearly twice the heat of what his is supposed to be, but his doesn't have metal in it anywhere. So, his doesn't get hot, it's just plastic. And it just gets warm plastic, and is warped because of the bulb. His may be dangerous, wow. because it's warped. Mine is metal and actual glass. However, you could beat me to death with it, so it's still that kind of dangerous. So what do they put on the inside of a lava lamp? Uh, okay, well here's the basic chemical formula here. Um, so, first things first, you I know there's, get... there's three formulas, because they changed it. Well, this is the basic plan okay. for lava lamp. The first is you get some nice heat-treated glass and you make the bottle. Yeah. Second thing, you would coat the inside with a nice uh, polymer coating to keep anything from sticking to it. And third thing would be you um, basically you want to Keep it so it doesn't, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for here? Polymerize with the glass, I guess? You, you're probably talking about a new one. 
No, 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 no. I... Because the one I have has an oil in it. There's no coating well, on the inside because it's filled with a type of oil and then is wax in a spring. I just don't know what that oil well, is or what kind of wax. One, the older one was water. Oh, you talk about the you talk about the the like the ones in the 80s that had the really fast, really small bubbles. They were water, yes. Yeah, I have one. Yes, you have one of those. Yes, I've always I won have one that has a water base to it. Uh huh. And has wax. This is one of the ones that get hot enough that Grandma will roast over an open fire if you um. If you put it next to her. Yeah, because the water actually boils inside of it. Yeah. Which causes the really small wax bubbles as well. Yeah. See, mine's not that one. Mine's got an oil. Mine's the ones after that. Yeah, yeah. Now, yours is oil and wax and everything, and it doesn't get as hot. No. And it, it doesn't need as many different steps. But that's just the basic plan. It, They'd probably use something akin to a petroleum-based oil. Uh, really, it wouldn't even have to be anything really crazy. I mean, you wouldn't want to get anything too volatile because you are heating it up, but I wouldn't imagine it would be anything like kerosene. I think no, it would probably I don't... be something like vegetable oil, really, with the scent removed. I don't think it's a cooking oil at all. Um, well, I mean, it would be into it chemically, I mean. Not yeah. actually the cooking well, oil. Well, you're not supposed that to drink be... it. The, the oil will make you sick. I just don't know what oh, kind of oil it, it is. It probably has a silicate in it, then. I could believe that, because it does have a cloudy um, look to it. And it gets cloudier the warmer it gets. Yeah, like I can't even see my fingers through it anymore. But the cloudiness makes it look like it's deep. Yeah. With the way okay, the glass so goes with it. I've separated the Spinosaurs and the Spinoraptors from one another. Hopefully that will be the last of the problems I have to deal with. Um, in the meantime, I should go ahead and release the Ankylodocus and Alamosaurus. And unfortunately, it's looking like this is going to be another episode. Having to do so much dealing with these dinosaurs has eaten up a large amount of my time again. <laughs> so you calling and your episode? So... No. It's not over till 1030. That's what I thought I was about to say. Because I've still yeah. got 30 more minutes on mine. You know, I might actually just keep going, now that I think about it. I mean, you could. Okay, okay let me release the ankylosaur out here. Yeah, I'll do the ankylosaur. Uh, they like ground leaf and ground fruit. Oh, Oliver showed up. Who? Oliver. Oh, Oliver from Oliver and Company? No, Oliver, the perverted one that likes to flirt with all the girls. In this game. He's so a bard. Man. He's literally a bard, okay? He's a bard. Look at, oh, it that look at that. He's a bard. Look at that. Alamosaurus, Charlie. It's a one long ass neck. No, that's not a one long ass neck. That's that's big, actually not neck. that big. That's not that. No, that's okay. not that amazing. Okay. No, you want to see a big long ass neck? No, no, he was stretching it out there for that last second. Uh, where was the Chinese dinosaur yard? Ah, there it is. <laughs> Take a look at it. Uh, 
Yeah, I need Charlie. to put my phone on the charger. What? Oh, yeah. Hey, that's a long ass neck. Yeah, my manky saurus. Your manky saurus? My manky saurus. My manky saurus. Yes. So, um, are you? Where, where do you keep the thesaurus at? Charlie. Yes. We're go we're going to have to start renting your ass. <laughs> Why? Because so many people are going to want to kick it now. Okay. So I asked Josh what his dream job would be. He said he didn't know. He said, all right, I'm going to put him on the corner and make him work the corner. It's like, wow, it'd be terrible. I said, what do you mean? You get screwed and get paid at the same time. What more could you want? Well, I mean, to be perfectly honest, the only customers that Matthew would get were a but would be a bunch of fat, ugly dudes named Daryl who want to screw a boy's ass. I said Josh, not Matt. I mean, it, it's the same. They're both scrawny retards. I mean, we're going to put them in Bacchaville so they're all screwed up to not be able to tell the difference. Wouldn't matter. They'd get any of them because they're all screwed up too much. God. The Stegosaurs are always fighting. Well, they've got to know who has the bigger stegs. Charlie, this yeah. this gives me an excellent opportunity to impart some knowledge. Okay. Do you know what the name for the spikes on the end of the Stegosaurs' tail are? I really don't know. I really just thought they were um, scales. No, they are actual spikes. Okay. Could you take a wild guess as to what we would call them in the paleontological world? Tusk? No. Oh, it's just not even close. It'd be a horn. Uh, it'd be my next guess. This is is going to be a hilarious, hilarious thing you are going to hear. <laughs> That's not a stego. No, that's not. That that's that's an ankylosaur. No. Uh, this is a stegosaur. That's a stego. Yeah. Um. See, there was uh, a comic strip artist a long time ago. Yep who like to make fun of important political figures, artists, and scientists all at the same time. And he actually made a, co a comic. It was a picture of a scientist standing in front of a stegosaurus's tail. Okay. And he was pointing at the spikes on it and saying, and this is the Stegosaurus Phagomizer. Wait, what? Named af yes, he named it a Phagomizer. Okay. After the rock star by the name of Fag Simmons, who mm. actually had spiky hair. Hmm. Yeah. Well, guess what? Scientists saw this comic... And made it the name. Ah, they were just too lazy to fix it. No. No, no. They they didn't actually have a name for it. Y you gotta realize, fossils of that dinosaur were not actually so common that they were using it vernacularly very often. They literally just took that comic book's words that, that little comic strips words and used it as the actual scientific word for the spikes on a stegosaurus's tail a phagomizer and you can look all this up it is well known at this point I'm good. If the biologist tells me so, I will just assume it's alright. 
Yeah, but you see, that that's the funny part about it. Yeah. The situation that had to have been presented itself when somebody suggested, hey, why don't we just use the term they made up? And then everyone said, okay. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's just funny. Oh, yay, finally some combat. Good, all the Gower Swords. Attack. There, cut the guy down. You're a terrible rogue, Josh. We already knew Josh was a terrible rogue. Different person. Ow, my wife just hit me. Abuse! Abuse him harder, Cassie! No, Go don't. The taint. Don't listen to him. Can she even hear me? Nope. Let me yell louder. Go for his ass! God, why are my dinosaurs fighting so often? Your dinosaurs are always fighting! I don't think I've ever watched a stream where they're not fighting, Alex. Well, that's not true. Snegasaur- uh, that's not true. The Tyrannosaurs very rarely fight at all, and if they do get injured... It's usually only once in a blue moon. But the fact that these dinosaurs are consistently trying to kill one another, even when they're in the same species, may... Why are the Pachycephalosaurs fighting now? Well, I mean, I know they fight normally, but... Okay, never mind. Fight got there. Okay. That's fine. Maybe it's mating season. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Well, yeah, that's, that's why they would. Do you wish it was mating season? I think my wife wants to be tackled and held down for a minute. Uh, Charlie, 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 don't you know you're no good at that? You don't even have the arm strength to fight against me. She would murder you. And if you come anywhere near me, I will cut off your fucking dick. And she's threatening to cut off your penis. Yes, on both stream and a recording at the same time. Y yes, I know, I'm glad. There's two cases of, uh, of verbal abuse I have now recorded. <laughs> Charlie, don't you know that you can't have that you can't have a Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial because you're poor? No. You put the yes. I'll put everything else on that bed. You can put my pillowcase on. Okay. Fucking poor. <laughs> I bet you are about to go get all wet. In the shower. So, do I need to go stand in there with you? I stand in there anyway. That's only because you're a little bitch. No. You guys can't have a Johnny Depp Amber Heard fight. No one's going to care because you're poor. Alex said we can't have a Johnny Depp Amber Heard um, um, lawsuit thingy, whatever. Because no one will it's care because you're poor. But nobody would care. B because you're poor. I have become famous because of my dog. <laughs> You, you gotta say because you're poor, Charlie. No. Yes. No. Why is there I not a hill her. station in this in this stupid I, dungeon? I, I will test. I, I will text her. Don't you do it, Alex. I will. I will do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm not. Oh, you're chasing me. Oh, I got me. T tell her. No. Okay, fine. I'm texting her. <sighs> oh, Alex probably already seen it. <laughs> why are they, why do they get to attack first? This is bullshit. There's five enemies on this board, and they all get to attack before. No, there's six enemies on. Or yeah, there's six enemies on this board. They all get to attack before me. What kind of bullshit is this? Bullshit calls that you suck. That's not the right move. I need to use a. I really want to kill these guys. Art. That's right, you've got like fucking every fucking uh, magic ability possible. I'm gonna use a fireball and hit you. I need to use Aqua Tear on um, Josh. He's who I need to heal first. 
Are they Charlie? Fireball, yes. I sent the text. Yeah, I heard. You I hope. Steal. <laughs> What'd she I... say? He's in the What'd bath. she say? The oh, fuck was me. that attack? He just jumped across the fucking map and hit me. Yeah, that was Alex. Yes, it was me. You don't want to know. Yes, you do. Listen to that whore. I know what he's talking about. You definitely want to know what I sent you. Told you didn't want to know. Um, art tier. I need to heal Istil this time. He said that we're poor, so nobody would care. Yeah, I, I know. said I'm not poor. I just don't have any money. That's what poor is. <laughs> that is too <laughs> many response. I just. He just said that's what poor is. <laughs> That's a typical me response, ain't it? <laughs> <sighs> yes, well, none of us can have that level of controversy because no one would give a single fuck. That's that's why. Because we're poor. Ah, shit, I hit the wrong motherfucker. No, it's fine. Go to the Stop attacking my people, damn it. I need them to... I need him to live enough to at least make it to the end of the dungeon alive. Might not be Charlie's healed up, just alive. Sons attack of Attack Charlie's Charlie's people. Attack it. Attack it with uh... bread. Attack it with a sharpened stick. Attack it with his grandmother rolled up in a rug. Just really get cre creative with it. And just I'm going this swing. Way. <laughs> yeah, I'll make some Corythosaurs and Edmontosaurs to go with this nice exhibit. Go ahead and move you over here. Go ahead and kill that one. Remove it from Q. It was not the next attacker, unfortunately, so I'm going to take some fucking damage. I'll do it. Oh, you attacked this still, you bastard. Those two like brown fiber. So I should probably put some brown fiber down maybe over here. Why? Um, actually, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I can kill him, and I did. It means Joshua now gets the next attack because I removed him from the from the queue. I will then attack the owl because it's right here attacking. Is still. I will now use my ultimate and go ahead and hopefully eliminate this other guy before he could attack. He's the next attack. Good. No, he didn't get removed from queue. Damn it. He has one HP. Art tier. Gosh. Mizuto Ceratops and Kylosaur. Oh, Why are you attacking Skizzard? Don't attack Skizzard. Another Sejisaur. Take that. I really should attack the other guy because that he was next in queue. Yeah, I fucked that up. Oh well. That would have been a waste of a attack, though, to attack a guy with 1 HP with a fucking gun. Okay, so, that's fine. Got a juicy something. Alright, so where's the monster manual? That's not the monster manual. That's the monster manual. Is that the monster manual? Minor fracture caused by attacking fences. What the hell? Where is the owl-like creature I just fought? Is it in the wrong... That's why I can't find them in the wrong region. Right. Okay, let's see. An aggressive a avian monster. It circles mountainous regions by air in search of prey. Location of Sky Bandit Stronghold. What are you weak to? I don't see a weakness. This is quite annoying, actually. 
all these different Carithosaurs mm. with different colors and patterns. So Empty nice. Empty room. Empty room. A room with loot I can't steal because this is bullshit and none of it's a mimic. Okay, and then we get the Edmontosaurs in here. Alex, did I send you the video of the, uh... Okay, I just found the scorpion. That's concerning. Um, I sent you the video of the guy who got cursed in D and D, and um, the curse was pretty much every time he touches an item, there's a fifty percent yes. chance it will become a mimic. Yes. Good. Oh, it's a whip. Equipment gizzard because she uses the whip. That is better than what I'm using. So I will equip the scorpion. Don't like this area already. Empty room. Uh, Why is this base so damn empty? No, use a dead dinosaur. Oh, oh my God! The thing's been attacking a fence continuously. Where is the dead dino? It literally died of thirst. <laughs> it died of thirst right next to a fucking lake. Ooh, I found a ring. What are you? Doing? Item, gold ring, what do you do? Uh, plus two f defense. Nothing I'll else. tell you what it does, Charlie. It, it goes and locates your balls. It wraps around them and squeezes them until they die. Okay, there was not a hill station anywhere in this whole fucking dungeon. Is there supposed to be hill stations in these dungeons? Why is there not a hill station in this dungeon? 47 minutes. I think I'm going to call this on my, on my episode. Oh. Alright, until then, I'm actually going to go ahead and call this, because, Alex, you've only got two minutes. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to keep going. I said this was going to be the final episode. And that's fine. Um, until then, I hope everybody has enjoyed this for what I'm doing. Um, next time, we'll see you in the Trolls, Trolls of the Sky, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! I hit the wrong button. <laughs>